What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to some more Indigo Disc, the Scarlet and Violet DLC Part 2. Uh, and today, like I said, we're going to try making our way to get the fuck out of this cave. <laughs> so we can go f challenge the Steel-type Elite Four member. And hopefully... Dude, how do you get out of here? Over here? Maybe. I don't know how to get out of here. Let's just go deeper in the cave. Uh, excuse me. Nope, this is not the way. Look at the jolt take just bouncing around, though. <laughs> uh, so I can try going this way, I guess. We got a new move called Super Cell Slam. Oh yeah, Super Cell Slam. So it's like a, it's like high jump kick. It's the electric type equivalent to high jump kick. You know what? I'm just gonna fly. Can I just fly out of here? Thanks. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know how, I don't know how the hell to get out of there, so. Oh, wait, what? What is this? Did it just bring me back? God, shit. This is not this is not where I wanted to be. <laughs> All right, now we can. Oh, there are TM making machines. Let's make a TM. Can we make any of these new TMs? Flip turn, whirlpool, muddy water, super cell. Who can learn super cell slam? Palmot. Would it be worth to teach it that move? Grassy Glide, Pedal Blizzard, Solar Blade, Triple Axle, Icicle Spear, Upper Hand. I feel like I've seen this before. The user reacts to the target's movement and strikes with the heel of its palm, making the target flinch. This move fails if the target is not prior readying a priority move. Uh, I have seen that move before. Or I have heard of it. Toxic Sludge Wave, High Horsepower, Scorching Sands, Feather Dance, Dual Wing Beat, Psychic Noise, Skitter Smack, Stone Edge Smackdown, Meteor Beam is back, that's pretty cool. Poltergeist is back. Oh! But Poltergeist fails if the target's not holding an item, so it's not really that useful. <laughs> Fuck. Scale Shot, Dragon Cheer. I guess I don't really have to make a new move to teach someone, but... Knockoff? Sure. We'll just make a knockoff cop TM. And plus, I only did it because I'm pretty sure that's one of that was it was one of our uh, fucking what do you call it? One of our BP missions. All right, so now that we're back here, let's finally make our way to Amaris. Amaris. We're just gonna climb up this fucking these rocks indefinitely. Go, go, go.
Oh, there's her thing. Jeez, it's way over there. What's all this? It's like a rock quarry? What? There's cleavers over here? Holy shit! I didn't know there were fucking cleavers. I, it's always baffling to see a, Hi a Hisuian Pokemon. Bro, like what? No shot it stays in the ball, yeah. No way. <clears throat> what level is it 70? Would it live a bitter blade? Oh no. It sure didn't. Fuck. But that's awesome. Knowing that Cleaver's here. Are there only one? Yeah, but there's Golurk and Scraggy. Hey, Golurk. What? Why is he... St is that because it's a water puddle? Is that why he's standing on the floaty? Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Here we go. Okay, can I bitter blade you? You'll probably die too, huh? We're too high a level, man. Alright, then I won't worry about catching Pokemon right now. I really shouldn't be bothering anyway, because I'm supposed to be doing other shit. Lomomola. Lomomola. Alright, we're coming. I'm here. Uh, I need a heal. Alright. Cool. And then now what I'm going to do is put blue with uh, Cerulege. Actually, you know what? I'll put Mellow up front. What's up, dude? Welcome to the Canyon Plaza. We support Amaris. Amaris. Uh. Thank you very much. Now here she comes, our very own Am Amaris. Chimera, yes? As you see, I'm present and ready for your trial. A change of location is required. Come. Hmm. She talks very robotic. Jesus, where are we going? The decision to allow you to take on the League was a regular, an exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the Academy allowed it, and their ruling is absolute. Therefore, I will carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four as flawlessly as I always do. The elite trial I devised starts right here. I call my challenge the Flying Time Trial. You'll need to fly around the skies of the terrarium while riding a Pokemon. Reach the goal within the prescribed time and you will pass the trial. Fly through the Magnemite Rings, and extra time will be added to the countdown. I recommend you go through as many rings as possible as you fly toward your goal. Can you verify that you are ready and willing to take on my flying trial? Uh-huh. Understood. I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on. Please bring it out of its ball. Ah, oh, good. With some effort, this Pokemon should be capable of flight. Your name is Agius, yes? This is for you to eat. Maridon is brimming with power. <laughs> What your Agius just consumed is a supplement that enhances a Pokemon's flight capabilities. I prepared it using the leaves of a mysterious plant that was growing, found growing in a terrarium. Your Agius will be able to soar through the skies as it pleases, but only during the duration of the trial. Try to reach the goal within the minimum time. 
You can freely, freely, freely fly in any direction using the left stick. Move left stick up, down, left, right. Yeah, 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 whatever. I wish you luck. Thanks. But we're gonna win, so. Oh shit. <laughs> this looks hard. Holy hell. Take on the flying time trial. Okay, I'm ready. I am so ready. Oh shit. Okay. This doesn't seem that hard. <laughs> Down, down, down. <gasps> oh, shit. Wait, what the hell? Shh. Oh, God. We're having technical difficulties. Oh, up here. Yeah. Oops. Uh. That failed. Do I have to do it again? Oh, we cleared it. Let's go. All right. Now what? Well, I already know now what, but. That was an impressive display of punctuality, I must admit. It was so satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you have cleared my trial. Now, a change of location is required once again. Come. Come, come. I'm going to come. You've earned the right to face me in battle. Do you wish to begin? Mm-hmm. Let's get understood. Let's assume our battle positions. Position assumed. <laughs> there is one thing I wanted to ask you. It concerns Kieran. What is he to you, Chimera? <sighs> I don't know. He's not much of a friend anymore. And I wouldn't really call him my rival either. I don't know. So you are uncertain, I see. For my part, Kieran is the strong, is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. Our battle starts now. All right, the last of the Elite Four, Amaris. Well, I did ask to send in... Oh my god, here we go. Uh, all right. We'll send in... Ame to eat up the Earthquake that I know is coming. <laughs> What is it with these guys in their earthquake flying combos? Blue, I know, will be able to eat up an earthquake. It's kind of more so Skarmory I'm concerned about, to be honest. I don't know what that thing wants to do. Stealth Rock. Okay. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. What? Is that a Focus Sash? What is that?
Oh my god, of course it's a focus sash. Okay, I have a plan. I have an idea, and I don't know what to think of it. So, I'm gonna click Dragon Cheer. And I'm gonna click Vacuum Wave, finish off Doug Trio. He's getting pumped, so now we have a higher chance of landing a crit. Oh, goodbye. In comes who? The fire type. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Really, I don't think Skarmory is going to be too big of an issue this game. Oh, that is. <laughs> That's going to be an issue this game. Alright, let's Bitter Blade and Earth Power. That'll be pretty solid damage. That should get us back to full, and it does. And then, I don't know if Blue outspeeds. Oh, it does! He does outspeed. Beautiful. Pretty sure Skarmory is clicking Whirlwind again. Yep. See you later. Whee! <laughs> Alright, Razor's in. Reuniclus. I mean, at this point, what do I got to lose, right? And fuck it, I'll just Blood Moon Skarmory. Now we got. Uh, Stab Night Slash? That should have one-shot Reuniclus from full, I think. It doesn't? Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, Skarmu lived on its sturdy ability, I think, right? So, bad luck can also play a role in battles. That's good to know. Thank you. Uh-oh. No! Wait, I know what Reuniclus is doing. It's clicking Trick Room. It has to be. Oh, hey. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, my God. The days where I wish I had Shadow Sneak. I can't believe Veluza didn't kill. That is so crazy. Alright, and I'll click Terror Blast. Okay. <laughs> Skarmory. Oh, Skarmory clicked Whirlwind again. You annoying prick. Alright, now what? Caesar. Caesar. Alright, Bitter Blade Scizor. Ow. Alright, that's Reuniclus down. Oh, this dude had an Oka Berry. Don't matter. It's times four. It's times four effective. And it was a crit, so. <laughs> 
Oh my god, damn! Well, Metagross is her last Pokemon. Uh, she's probably gonna Terra Steel, right? So I'm just gonna... Time is short. Let's wrap this battle up. Pokemon of health has left, the more it will suffer from this move. Hard press. I've never heard of hard press before. Oh my god. Hard press. So what'd she say? The, the higher an opponent's HP is, the more damage it does? Yeah, that's a new that's a new move. I've never heard of that before. I am not enough, I see. The strength of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. You got that right. <laughs> no, you, you care plenty, dude. Kamara, you truly are a kind person. Alright then. Time for a photo. We must ensure that your victory here is properly commemorated. Oh. I will give you this TM too. It contains a favorite move of mine. Hard press. The target is crushed with an arm, a claw, or the like to inflict damage. The more HP the target has left, the greater this move's power. It is up to you to help Kieran, Chimera. I entrust you my wish to you. Time for me to go. So long. And let me guess. Drayton's about to show up. As he always does. Yo, 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 champ in the making. Guess you're almost a champ in the maid. That's the BB Elite 4 all beaten. You schooled every elite one of us. Amara sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Amara is as rigid as, rigid as she looks, she's got a sensitive streak. She's got a sensitive streak a mile wide. Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from the outside. Man, it's like I blinked and you plowed through the whole BB League. You know what's next for you, right, bud? You're good enough to beat all Elite Four of us, so you and only you have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Kieran. Hey, buddy. You've really kept me waiting. Took you a while to beat the Elite Four. Kind of slow for you, isn't it? I was busy, you fucking... Hunt. I was busy doing shit. Nice, Kieran. You've really got Chimera on the brain, huh? I could say the same thing about you, Drayden. You sure are putting a lot of effort into helping Chimera out. Who wouldn't help out a new student? Gotta be good to our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. Whatever you're planning, it's about to come to an end. Chimera. Let's tell who's the strongest between us two once and for all. Okay. It's finally time. I'm pumped for you. We'll have to go sign you up for the, at the front desk to get your championship match going. No sense waiting around. Let's go. Goodbye. Well, alright then. Face off against Kieran. Uh... Wouldn't it be kind of funny if I brought Ogre Pawn? Just to rub it in his face, like, hey, remember me? <laughs> Iron Defense. 
Hmm. Talk to me for the flying time trial. No thanks. Uh, what do we want to do? It's really not like what I would say a whole lot of time left to go uh, to go start that champion battle. Maybe I'll see what's in the decks. So let's see. We've battled against 162 Pokemon, but there are we only have 137. An ability capsule. What is that? An upgrade for Porygon. A dubious disc for Porygon 2. A Safari Ball. An Electrizer for Electabuzz. And a Magmarizer for, you know, Magmar. <laughs> Man, so we're missing... Right now it looks like it's just a bunch of Pokemon that evolved by trade items. Uh, I've strike a Blitzler around. Cleaver, I know where to find now. Alcremie, I know how to get. The horse, the seahorses, I know how to get. I don't know where Oddish is, or Diglett, or Dugtrio. Uh, Slope Bro, I don't know where to get. The fossils, I have no clue either. Skarmory, I'm sure it's up here. We know where those guys are. Lapras, Overquill, Sand Slash, Archaladon, and then every starter in the game. <laughs> and then I s oh, there's a whole there's a whole gap right here. Oh shit! All right. So it looks like we still have plenty of Pokemon to find. Oh. Oh look. Scraggy and Scrafty right here. What? No. Go away. You are not what I wanted to fight. I want Scraggy and Scrafty, bro. One of my favorite Pokemon from the Unova region, for sure. Boom. Ba -ba -da. God, everybody's in their 90s now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Scrafty. I wonder if Scrafty got buffed at all in this. be really handy if it got, like, Trailblaze. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Because it gets Dragon Dance. Why would it need Trailblaze? Alright. Well, I think... Do I think? What do I think? <clears throat> A lot of Pokemon in the water. Uh, eh, uh, eh. Yeah, you know what? We'll end today's episode right there. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell. And next episode, we will take on Kieran, the BB League champion and douchebag <laughs> of people we know. So as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.